the English-speaking Caribbean, experienced 2 billion cyber attacks in the last calendar year. The CARICOM Implementation Agency for Crime and Security, IMPACTS, is hosting a regional cyber awareness sensitization and training session in Grenada. Prime Minister and Minister for National Security Deacon Mitchell said that Grenada, like the rest of the world, has seen an increase in cyber attacks, specifically targeting government institutions, businesses, and critical infrastructure. In the region, the proliferation of cybercrime has become a significant threat to economic stability and security. And cyber criminals are constantly innovating and devising new ways to exploit vulnerabilities and steal valuable data. Referring to Grenada's attempt to bring into law a draft data protection bill, Prime Minister Mitchell says they will embark on public education campaigns on cybersecurity awareness. Collaboration between the private sector and government agencies will be essential to improving the region's cybersecurity resilience, according to the PM. He added that cybersecurity partnerships should be encouraged and announced Grenada's preparation to sign on to the Budapest Convention. As of the last RSS meeting, uh, publicly pledged our commitment to uh, signing on and ratifying the Budapest Convention. Um, and so I expect the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the Attorney General's Chambers, uh, to be speedily uh, taking the necessary measures to ensure that we, we do so. Um, and that, that is critical to ensure that we can benefit from uh, support from our international partners in this area. The Budapest Convention is a criminal justice treaty seeking to address internet and computer crime by harmonizing national laws, improving investigative techniques, and increasing cooperation among nations. Acting Director of Public Prosecutions in Grenada, Mr. Howard Pinock, noted that a large number of cases before his office has some elements of cybercrime. Cybercrimes pose unique challenges as the internet, use of the internet is pervasive, it is impersonal, and it cannot be detected in the traditional way. Assistant Director Strategic Services of CARICOM Impacts, Earl Harris, called on policymakers and the public sector to reduce the risk of cyber crimes by implementing mechanisms to enhance cyber security. The IMPACTS Regional Cyber Awareness Sensitization and Training Session targets senior officials, ministers, parliamentarians, and policymakers. It began on Wednesday and concludes on Friday at Radisson Beach Resort. Cherry and Blackman Stephen, JBN News.